this video, I would like to talk about the click function first sorted value. We already did a video on the script version of this function. In this video, I will be talking about the chart version of the function. The syntax looks a bit lengthy. So let's condense this a bit for now to understand the basic concept. The function returns the value of the column value where the column sort weight has its minimum value. The rank argument can be used to get the second lowest, the third lowest and so on value of the column sort weight. Say we have two columns, month and temperature. This expression will return the month where the temperature has its minimum value. So basically the month of the lowest temperature. This expression will return the month of the second lowest temperature. By adding a minus sign in front of temperature, we get the month of the highest, in this case, second highest temperature. Remember that the complete syntax of the function looked a bit more complicated. Actually, the terms set expressions, distinct and total are arguments to most chart functions. For the concept of these arguments, please refer to our dedicated videos on these. But also, let's have some coding examples where we use set expressions as well as the distinct and the total keyword. Okay, so what we have here is a table of mean temperatures for three different cities, Berlin, Cape Town and Los Angeles. And we have the mean temperatures for every month and also for day and night time. And here on the right side, I already added two charts with uh, mean day temperatures and night temperatures for the three cities. And for instance, you can see that Cape Town um, has its winter when Berlin and Los Angeles have summer because uh, Cape Town is on the Southern hemisphere. What we like to find out is for each city, the month of the highest temperature for day and for night time. So let's add a table where we add the city as a dimension and a measure of the first sorted, sorted value of the month with respect to the mean temperature. But we want the highest mean temperature, not the lowest. So we need to add a minus sign in front of the mean temperature. And also we would like to um, see the temperatures only for daytime. So we need to add a set expression where we set the daytime, daytime equal to day. All right. Okay, so we can see that for Cape Town, the hottest daytime temperatures occur in February. But for Berlin and Los Angeles, the function returned null. Why did it do so? Because um, if we have a look at Berlin, for instance, and we look for the highest temperature, then we see 23 degrees occur in July, but also in August. So um, the month of highest temperature is not unique. It could be July or August. And in that case, the function first sorted value just returns null. To overcome this problem, um, we can add a distinct keyword in front of month. So now it looks at all the distinct values uh, and returns the month um, of the distinct temperatures. So let's have a look. Okay, now it returned July. Why did it return July and not August? That's just because of the loading order. 
just because um, July occurred uh, first in the in the loaded table. All right, so let's call this maybe highest day temperatures. And we also would like to find out the month of highest temperature during the night. So we duplicate, duplicate this measure and call it night temperature, highest night temperature. And of course we have to change day to night in the daytime expression. So now it just looks at the rows where daytime equals night. And we can see July, January and August are the respective highest months for night time. So we can see, for instance, in Berlin, um, the Ju July is the month where the temperatures are hot hottest in uh, during the daytime and nighttime. But for Cape Town, these temperatures shift a little bit from February to January and July to August. All right, so what we would like to do next is to highlight the hottest and the coldest temperature during daytime for each city in this table. To make it a bit easier, we just filter on day here just to have the table a bit uh, shorter. All right, so we would like to highlight um, the hottest month um, in orange. Let's start with that. We can use this background color expression to do that. So we say if the month equals the hottest month, which is the first sorted value of months with respect to the minus mean temperature, because we want the highest value of mean temperature, then the background should be blue and now orange and otherwise it should be white. Let's see. Okay, now we see that it, the function colored every single row orange. Why is that? Because it looked for the highest temperature for every combination of the table. So for instance, for mm, the combination of Berlin in January, the maximum and only value is two. For Berlin in February, the maximum value and only value is three. So what we actually want is to look for the highest temperature across the whole table. So we kind of need to disregard the table dimensions. We can do that by adding a total keyword. And also we take a distinct months, by the way. And let's see how that works out. Okay, that looks better. Let's have a closer look. So it says Berlin, July, Cape Town, July, Los Angeles, July. But is that right? Is, is July the hottest month for Cape Town? No, it's not. So what happened here now? Now the, the function looks at the whole table. It looks for the highest temperature, which is 28.5 degrees. And it associates that with July and just colors July everywhere orange. But that's not what we wanted. We want this for every city individually. But by the total keyword, we just disregarded all the dimensions in the table. But that's actually not what we needed. We want to exclude city, the dimension city, from, from the total keyword. And we can do that by adding the 
dimension city here um, just after the total keyword. So now this me what this means is disregard all the di table dimensions except city. Let's see. Okay, we see here now Cape Town switch from July to February. Just have a look at all the three cities, Berlin, July, Cape Town, February, and Los Angeles, July. So that's what we wanted. And we also want the coldest temperature. So we can have an additional if statement here. So if it's the hottest temperature, then make it orange if it's the coldest coldest temperature then it should be let's say blue and otherwise white and we need an additional bracket because we have two if statements now okay all right let's see berlin january cape town july los angeles january looks good that's exactly what we wanted that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to our channel because that really motivates us to create more content like this. Thanks.